Hello, friend. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is our big daddy freeze dryer. You can't see it, but up on the screen. Oops. Ah! I hit that accidentally. Okay, up on the screen it says Big Daddy. We, we were able to, to name it. This is our X-Large freeze dryer that we had to send back. They had to replace the entire chamber, a bunch of wires. It had a leak in the coil system. So we got it back. We did just, we ran some bread through it and it works like a dream. So now we're gonna show you how we do our Skittles, well our candy. We're gonna freeze dry some Skittles today and some of our gummy bears that we bought yesterday. So with this, it's just like any other freeze dryer, you always gotta cool the chamber down first. A lot of times we load the trays up and we put them in there and then we turn it on and cool it down. And once that 15 minutes, um, uh, time is up then we just come down and start it but because we're going to show you today we're going to take you through the way step by step yeah got something didn't i now you got something right mister <laughs> he's always the one that comes down here this is his job so then we just shut the door on her it's got a twisty lid we just close it up and then we just push start. Oh, because I had started it earlier now, it's a restart delay. So in three minutes, it will start up. It says it's waiting for condenser pressure to equalize. That's because I touched it and I started it before I was ready. So once, once uh, that three minutes is up, it will start up and it will, it takes about 15 minutes for that freeze dryer chamber to cool down and then we'll be back and we'll take you to the next step well, well we're starting up our freeze dryer to get ready to do some candies and it starts up now it's got to run for 15 minutes and as it's running for 15 minutes we're going to be loading our trays in right over here and we're going to move you around there to see it and these, my assistant uh, uh, will be a these um oh my gosh you gotta open up these hold a lot. These are enormous trays. I'll show you the difference. Okay. This is a large tray. This is the medium size. That's how much bigger this big, uh, big Daddy one is. Okay. Oh, yeah, do you like those? All right, now, I just take, you could probably freeze dry this entire thing on here, but I like to have enough room because they do expand. And we got seven trays, so we don't have to. We don't have to um, put it all on one tray. Okay, now, I have two left for the skittles. 
skill. Perfect. That's okay, it's in there. I want to break these up so they're not big clumps. All right, now they got lots of room to expand because these will expand. These will swell right up. more on each tray, but because these expand so much, I don't want to do that. So as soon as that's done, it's got what? Ten more About minutes. ten more minutes. We'll be back and we'll show you how we load it. Are we ready? Well, hello friends. It's been 15 minutes and now we're going to load up the trays. Four Skittles. Oh, three. four Skittles. Yeah, but, but we only loaded three so far. These are the gummy bears. drain valve. That's on this side. You can barely see them over there. That's a little lever you've got to close. Okay, so now we got it all loaded. We got the drain valve closed and it tells you that. It says load trays into freeze dryer and close drain valve. I'm notorious for getting that drain, for forgetting the drain valve. So now we just hit continue. You can't see the screen, but it just says freezing and it will go through the entire process. It's 47 degrees in the chamber, but it will get about, what, 40? Minus 40. Minus 40. It, it will get way down there. Anyway, friends, we're going to let this run its course. It's going to have to run, what, 24 to 48 hours because it's so big. And um, when that's done, we'll show you how all that looks when it comes out. Well, hello, friends. We got our stuff out of the freeze dryer, but these aren't quite done. These are the gummy bears, and they really need to, um, they need to go a little longer. I need to adjust for these. See, they're not, they usually swell up. They get real puffy and, and crispy, and these didn't. So we're going to set these aside. These are going to go back in, and we'll uh, adjust the freeze dryer for this. It's just an easy fix, but these are beautiful. These are all done. So what we're gonna do is our hands are all clean. We're just gonna pack them in there. Hold them up there. I didn't get one of those, um, what are they, big funnels? Those funnels are a little too pricey for me. That's a little too much. I package these for our market stand. And I can tell after I've done so many of them, I do weigh them afterward, but I can usually tell what the weight's going to be. 
we sell that for eight dollars that's an eight dollar pouch and there's probably oh i don't know i'll have to weigh it to tell you for sure no not yet so all we do these are all we just break these up a little bit I just need a couple of these out there. Okay. That's good. Now we don't need a whole lot left in here. That's good. Now the rest, nope, are going to go. I ran out of uh, gallon size bags, so all I've got is these quart ones. That's all right. I usually store them in a gallon bag. And also when I'm storing them, they don't last long enough when I'm selling them in the market stand to warrant putting an oxygen absorber in there. They don't last long enough. But here, I do... And I just fold it in half. Put it in there and it secures it. I put them in here. Okay. You want your bucket? But yes. I got an easy way of doing this and leave it in my quart and gallon size bags. These are nice. I'll show you how these turn out. They puff right up. See that? <laughs> they puff right up, and they're crispy and crunchy, and they're just they're they're good. I sell a lot of these. I love this great big freeze dryer. going to go ahead and we're going to fill these all up and you'll see it when we're all done.
Well, there you have it, friends. We got all the Skittles freeze-dried. There's quite a few of them. We got a package, some for the root cellar for storage. And then we got packages for the market stand. Um, after I weighed these, these are like the $8 packages. So those are nice. Those are good sellers. And then I always have um, a sample pack. So that's nice too. And then these, they're, they're big sellers, so, but I don't put all of them out there at once. I just have four or five of them out there. And when they, when they sell, then I package more up. But there you have it, friends. The, um, what are they? The gummy bears. We're going to put those in our smaller freeze dryer because now there's not enough to run the big, you know, warrant to run the big freeze dryer. So we're going to put those in the small freeze dryer, finish those out, package those up the same way and get them out in the market stand. You all have a wonderful day and thanks for hanging out with us in the kitchen. And if you are interested in a freeze dryer, there is a link in our description box below the video that will take you right to their website. You can do all your homework. They even got a beautiful layaway plan. And a lot of times they have a sale going on. So check it out, friends. And if you want more of these videos from us, just let us know. We freeze dry all the time. We can bring you along with us. Thanks for hanging out with us in the kitchen, friends. And we'll see you in the next video. And as always, thanks for watching.